Tech Tip Thursday. I am Christina Cook. I am the CEO of the Self-Sufficient Classroom, as well as the weekend teacher over on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm so excited to bring you yet another episode of Tech Tip Thursday. In today's episode, we are going to be talking all things clip art artists. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite clip art artists, and I'm going to be letting you see exactly which artists I use to create my high quality products and classroom resources. And when I say these are my favorite artists, guys, these are my favorites. These are my go-tos. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope that if you have any questions, you'll definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's jump on in so I can share these great people with you. Here with you, uh, some of my favorite clip art artists. And if you hear snoring in the background, that is Jersey and she is my little chihuahua. So she is getting her nap in right now. So I apologize in advance. All right, so let's get started. So I am just gonna show you their stores from Teachers Pay Teachers. You might wanna write these down or actually go on uh, while I'm talking and do a search for these in Teachers Pay Teachers. All of these artists are just wonderful. So let me just fix this page. All right, so the first clip art artist, um, I have been using Scrap and Doodle since I began my Teachers Pay Teachers journey. Um, and I would say I've been doing Teachers Pay Teachers now for about four years. So 2016, yes, 2016. So um, as you can see, she has a lot in her store. There is an endless amount of clip art that she has in her store. Um, she has 1,443 clip art sets. And every now and then Scrap and Doodles will do a bundle where you can pay for all of her clip art and she'll set a price and if you pay for it there is a uh, closed membership group on Facebook where she does updates and she gives all of the new clip art pieces um, in her Facebook group so you don't have to purchase them anymore so I really like her clip art it's just so cute I like how the kids look this is these are our these are her newer sets um, if you do a search and you go back a little Further, you can see um, how she has grown as a clip art artist because a lot of her images are um, different but I do have the bundle that she was selling and so now I get all of her clip art for free which is wonderful so you should definitely make a note and just look out for that because I believe she does it once a year I believe um, I don't know if she's doing it anymore but definitely follow her to um, see if that is still out there. All right, then I have uh, Pignit, which I use. I like their clip art because the, the people, let's just compare the people to Pignit. Like if you compare both of them, which they're both great, all of these clip art artists I use, they're great clip art artists, guys. But if you compare the people, these look a little more realistic. And I really do like realistic looking um, characters. So uh, with this clip art artist, again, the clip art does look more lifelike, more realistic. So if I was going to make posters, I'm teaching fifth grade and I need some people, I would probably run to a clip art artist like this first, um, opposed to something that looks a little bit more whimsical. And their clip art sets are not expensive at all. Um, if you wanted to make a resource and you wanted to purchase these borders it's a dollar so this is definitely a great clip art artist to follow that's pignit um then i have a sketchy guy i like his clip art as well because his people do look like people they're a little bit more whimsical um, or cartoonish but i do like that his uh people are more people like I don't know if that makes any sense. I know what I'm trying to say. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. They just look a little bit more realistic than Scrap and Doodles, but again, they they are different clip art artists. So he offers, or she offers, I think it's a guy, it says a sketch guy. They offer a lot at their store, and there's a different uh, varieties of things that you can get from this store. And again, this is not expensive for clip art. Um, if I'm teaching Greek mythology, I can get a clip art set for $4. So that's really not a lot of money. I, I just like the way that this 
person does their clip art. So then we have graphics by the pond. I love me some graphics by the pond. I think they are fabulous. And this is not just for clip art, which you can get clip art from them. So if I wanted to look for, let's see, um, let's see, classroom in school. Okay, so I can get worksheets. And this is, this is a great um, clip art artist to have because if you're making resources, nine times out of 10, you're going to be needing some of these items on your, um, in your resource. So here you can get edges, you can get frames, you can get fonts, and we'll be talking about my favorite font um, designers very soon. You can get borders, and these are in bundles. And you can look, you can get this border bundle set for $9. That's crazy. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 border bundles 50, 50 borders for $9. That's crazy. That, guys, that's like almost a steal. Um, what else can you get from them? You can also get plenty of different headers. Again, they're big with the um, fonts as well. So you can definitely, you know, get a lot of get a lot of things from out of here. So if you're making a classroom resource, or if you're making a resource just for Teachers Pay Teachers, this would be a great place to start. And what I will say, they have a free font. Let's do a search. It's called Pond Free. Oh man, I can't spell today. Pond Free Me. And this font is my number one go-to font. I love Pond Free Me. Like, love. I cannot say love enough. It's easy for the students to read, it, yet it still doesn't look boring. It still looks like it did some kind of font on my um, resource or on my, on my product. So I would definitely check out graphics from the pond. They are a favorite of mine. Another favorite is May Hates Mondays. And May, I hate Mondays too, but I am learning to love them. Um, but May Hates Mondays has clip art that is really for older kids. So let me scroll. Let's see if we can find one of her most recent sets. All right, so we have Teens at School. And as you can see, these teenagers look like teenagers, okay? So if you're working with older students and you really wanna jazz up their papers or their worksheets, or you wanna make posters for your classroom or whatever you're thinking, I would use these probably in maybe fifth and up. I don't know about fourth, but fifth, maybe fourth. But fifth grade and up, most definitely, I would be using May Hates Mondays. Her clip art is wonderful and all of her sets, well, the sets that I've at least purchased do come in color as well as black and white. And that's definitely a bonus. So May Hates Mondays, you're gonna definitely wanna check out. This one right here in the corner, that is one of my very favorite clip art sets from her. All right, so now we have Educlips and Educlips is so cute guys like stinking adorable and edgy clips to me is not that pricey um i think she has a good price for her clip art and as you can see it's more cartoon like so let's click on this one it's more cartoon like but um you know she gives a variety of different um, ethnicities and genders and it's so colorful i love 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 me some edgy clips and again, just like um, just like graphics from the pond, um, Educlips has a lot of things that you as a TPT seller or you as an individual making classroom resources, that would be so beneficial to you. So I would definitely check her out. She has so many things. Okay, so accents and frames, just like we were talking about frames from graphics um, from the pond. She has frames as well, and a lot of times she has huge sales that she um, throws. Look, all these, all of these page borders for three dollars. That's twenty-six page borders for three dollars. Thirteen white filled, and then thirteen transparent filled. 
And then she has doodly shapes, $3.50. So whatever resource you're looking for, um, Educlips, I would definitely put her at the top of the list as well. And then we have melon heads. I'm going to say my favorite for last, which um, is coming up next. We have melon heads. O M G. If I could draw, I would, I would want to draw just like melon heads. The clip art that she provides is top notch clip art. I cannot tell you how much I adore all of her sets. So if we go to her store and let's just say I'm looking for something because I want to make some posters dealing with emotions. Well, we have, I can be brave, awesome, helpful, healthy, creative. Okay. So all of these kids will come with, and this is her combo pack for $11. So positive affirmations, clip art combo pack. Um, the set contains all of the images as shown, colored and black and white. So what I like to do is I like to use melon heads for a lot of my, a lot of my posters that I make in my classroom. Currently I am teaching fifth grade, but my fifth graders do enjoy looking at some melon heads. I'm telling you guys, like her clip art is amazing. I cannot stop saying how amazing her clip art is. I absolutely love it. All right, and then my last but not least, my absolute favorite clip art artist is Kate Hatfield Designs. Her clip art just makes you fall in love with the illustration itself. So I will preface this by saying, pre preface, pre preface this, preface, I think it's preface. I will preface this Listen, I, I'm from New Jersey, so we don't always speak correctly. I'm just going to go ahead and say that her clip art is a bit expensive. So $10 for her clip art sets. Um, usually the newer ones are $10. This one is a bundle, as you can see. So it's $14.40. That's really not too bad. Um, but her clip art is a little pricey. But the quality of the clip art that you are getting is amazing all images are 300 dpi for best quality printing and guys her stuff prints like butter her stuff is phenomenal so generally whatever i'm looking for if i'm looking to make something i will go to her clip art first just because i just love how it looks it's not too childish and it's not too grown this one is childish, tooth fairy. So, okay, Christina, come on now. Give me, give me something good. All right. It is not too childish. It is, it's just wonderful. I just really absolutely adore this clip art artist and a lot of the newsletters that I make and behavior calendars that I make and classroom awards that I make, they all use, um, they all have Kate Hadfield designs on them. Absolutely love me some Kate Hadfield. She also has a website um, called The Doodle Den, I believe. Let's go ahead and see. No, we don't want teachers pay teachers. Kate Hatfield Designs blog. Let's see what we have. Okay, yeah, so Kate Hatfield Designs. Okay, so. If you sign up for her blog, if you register on her blog, sometimes she will send you an email that says, hey, I'm having a sale. The sale might not be on TPT, but there's definitely a sale going on on her website. And sometimes you can find that you can purchase the clip art on her website a little cheaper than if you were to purchase it from Teachers by Teachers. Why? I don't know. But this is just what I found out doing some research. So I always, if I'm going to purchase her, res her resources first, her clip art, I always go to her blog first. And if I don't see a sale, then just because stuff is set up automatically through my TPT, I will purchase it from TPT. But I have made plenty of purchases from her website, her blog as well. Um, sometimes there are clip art pieces on her website that have not made it to TPT yet as well. So if you're looking for something, you can always check out her blog first. 
So like this set is $10, where on TPT, I'm not really sure how much it is. Let's see, if, it might not even be on sale yet. I just, these kids are so cute. These kids are so cute. So you're gonna wanna check her out. So anyway, guys, these are just a few of my favorite clip art artists. These are my top clip art artists, my go-to clip art artists. Um, if I do purchase from someone else, it's just because I randomly saw something and I was like, oh, that would be good. Nine times out of 10, I am checking out these people first and I'm making my purchase. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to see anything in particular, please let me know. I'd love to create a video for you to see it. If you have any questions about how you can get started selling your own TPT resources or creating your resources, just hit me up in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.